guys, welcome to the Tari Bash Replay Showcase episode 44 with me, Jack Morris from Manify Films. So this week, tournament, but more on that way, way, way later. Because firstly, let's take a look at Wrath of the Ancestors by Starks or Stark XX or Stark Double X or whatever you want to call it. Which is a very, very nice replay and a very nice replay to open with. Nice is my word of this week. We're not saying the C word, the S word, the other S word. We're not using any of the usual words. Nice is now the go-to word for describing things. And uh, this is very nice indeed with some really um, stylish balance and actually with a uh, really nice catch on that. I really do like the way, um, look, look at this in slow-mo. I really do like the way his back leg kind of comes up to decapitate Jeff there. We'll take another look at it when he gets there. So it's a kick that kicks Jeff in half and then raise and, oh wait, no, wrong part of the body. There we go, I was looking at his head. Uh, wait, was there not a, I'm sure that was a back kick. I, I could have sworn I saw a back kick. Let's see that again. There we are, right there. Yeah, I knew it happened. I knew it wasn't crazy. Everyone else is. Uh, it's, I guess it's Hugh with that leg coming back around to decap Jeff. Although it does actually, at, upon closer inspection, it would appear as though that might have been his hand, not the leg. Well, uh, it might have been a combination of both. Who knows? I mean, everyone else but me, apparently. But uh, not too sure. Still very, very nice. I'll stick like one more time in reverse speed, because why not? Because I love reverse speed. Whoop, doop, 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 and back. Okay, and... Kick, kick, and uh, everything. Kick, kick, and everything. Description of most Tori Bash replays. All right, let's move along. This is Sparta Relentless Ruthless Warrior. Not Relentless. Relent. Yeah, it is Relentless. I inserted the word Ruthless there. It's not actually there. Bye, Spidercraft. And uh, very nice. <laughs> Got all about that replay, and it's very, very, very nice. Fantastic by Forget That. Let's take another look at it. Boom! That is some serious... 180 spin on Jeff there that really does look very, very awesome. I really do like that one. The bifurcate, the bifurcate is the main attraction there, but it is just really, really, really nice. We'll take a look at that in slow motion, but one more time in normal speed just for good measure. It's just such a powerful bifurcate. So quick and so cool. Great pose to open with as well, and we'll just take a look at that in super slow-mo. So, boom! Even in slow motion, that punch is still fast. We, we, we might have to go one or two slower here to, to get a real feel for how good this punch is. So, boom. The degree to which Jeff splits compared to the punch really does show how fast that punch was. We'll take a look at it once more at normal speed because that is just such a powerful punch. In fact, I want to see this from Jeff Cam just to be on the safe side. Boom. Oh, it looks like he shoves his hand kind of up his spine. That's disgusting and awesome. Just bleh. You know what? Tori Cam, why not? Oh, covered in flames. Great. Um, well, that's a blue mess. Okay, we'll take a look at this. One more normal time, because that is such a quick, powerful punch. I absolutely adore it. It's really, really cool. Oh, fuck. Said the C word. Damn it. All right, moving along. This is Awesome Punch and Kick by Axios, which is dangerously close to Arius, but we're going to overlook that. And uh, another nice pyth... Pyth... Unshikate? Pyth... Unshikate... And kick. Punch by forget. Very, very nice. And uh, gets a really good decap there as well. But I think, again, once again, the main attraction here is the punch by forget that's going on at the start of the replay. Not to say the decap isn't cool, but that punch is just awesome. I, I really do, um, I don't know, punches to the crotch appear to be becoming my thing, at least in the past couple of episodes. And uh, it's good. Yeah, you know what? I actually do take that back. The decap is also really, really cool. So, uh, fuck, really nice. So, yeah, let's take a look at that punch. And then kick, yeah, knee, I guess shin. He shinned his head off. That's pretty cool. All right. Ah, fuck, I said it again. All right, one more time. It's, it's pretty nice. I do, I do like, um, again, the decap's pretty cool. Fuck! The decap's pretty nice, but um, I do still think the main attraction here would be the Punch Five Kit, which doesn't have uh, all that from Tari Cam, but might look pretty cool from Jaff Cam. Same sort of thing where it looks like he's shoving his hand up there, although it's going into his dick, which isn't, um, isn't very pleasant at all. In fact, that's... Uh, I wish I hadn't said that. Moving along, moving along. Let's pretend that one didn't happen. This is Bohemian by TM Elite Bloodmach. Bloodmach. Bloodmatch. Bloodmatch. Bloodmach. Not too sure. All I know is Bohemian is the name. And uh, this is a um, very, 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 very nice replay. And I mean, how else do I describe replays like this except for very, very nice, awesome, slash cool, slash everything else? I mean, I could sit here and describe this replay frame for frame, but I don't think I need to. This replay exists so well on its own and is just so, so nicely done. I really do like the way he positions Jeff in the air ready for that spin backwards heel kick thingamabob that's going on there. I, I am very fond of replays that manipulate Jeff in a certain way, and that's one of them. He kicks, he dick kicks him into the air and then bifurcates him. That might be a... Is it five separate madmans that make a... Five separate... Like I can't talk this week. Five separate dismembers that make a madman, or is it just five dismembers? Because if it's five, then that's a madman. All I know is it looks really, really, really sweet. So let's take a look at that in slow motion. I think this definitely warrants a slow motion. So it's the kick to the dick that really sends Jeff in the air there, but it 
great leap, which I do believe leads to a cool spin. I said the C word, it wasn't even necessary. I, I do very much like the way he kind of kicks, look at this in all speed, kind of kicks Jeff's middle part of his body, the middle part just goes away. Like the legs drop and the upper body goes higher and the middle part just flies off in that direction. It's, re it's pretty awesome the way it just keeps going there with momentum. All right, let's move along, otherwise we're going to be here all day. This is Bull X by Clifford Trap, or Clap Trap, as I'm sure he'd prefer to be called. Uh, high grav replay. Um, Oh, I remember now, yeah. A very, very nice scissors decap that honestly starts off a little bit shaky, but really pulls it together at the end for a sweet, sweet decap. Uh, too many frames for me to look at this in slow motion, but we'll um, see it nonetheless. I do like the way he pushes Jeff up, back up into the decap. It's um, fairly unique, actually. We don't see an awful lot of that sort of deal, but it's um, it's pretty nice. Um, I, like Again, I do like the scissor attack that knocks Jeff's head off there, and I'm wondering what this will look like from Jeff Cam, so let's take a... Um, Let's take a closer look at this. I imagine it's probably just gonna look, yeah. It just looks like, <laughs> I didn't realize he headbutted him. That's pretty funny. He gives him like a little kiss on the way over. Just gets decapped and then, oh, here it comes. And mwah, brilliant, fantastic. All right, one more time, one more time. Um, there's not really a lot else I can say about this replay except for it. It's quite, um, I do like high gravity replays. I feel like it takes a lot more to get a nicer replay in high grav because your tar is kind of being yanked to the ground. So this, it definitely stands to reason that the scissors kick is cool. And I'm using that word properly. I meant, I totally meant to use that word this time. This is Head Over Heels by Tayral or Tayral or Tayral, 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 whatever. This is Head Over Heels and uh, it's a great replay. Great backflip to open with. Uh, kick by the kids. Weird, weird spin on Jeff there. Like, uh, that's a real quick spin on Jeff. Not, not seen a lot like that. I am very fond of that backflip. It's a very nice looking backflip. Sort of just puts his foot through Jeff. And then, I really need to look at that in slow motion to get what's really going on there. Because Jeff does some kind of really weird spin when he gets grabbed. We'll take another look at that kick. And, look at that. That's like a full three... 180, 180, not 360. No, your degree is Jack. You did maths. Um, full 180 degree spin there. I'm actually not entirely sure how that happened, but it's, um... Unique nonetheless. We'll take another look at it and maybe, um, maybe I can try and work out what's going on. So it just puts his foot through Jeff. And then, I don't know, maybe it's Jeff's momentum that spins him or maybe um, he manipulated a part of Jeff there. I'm not too sure. I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments exactly what happened there and I'd be really eager to know. Now just to prove, because I imagine some people are going to think this is foot mod. We'll just prove that it's not. There we go. Not foot mod. That would have... If Jeff would be in pieces right now, so yeah, not foot mod because it did look a little bit foot moddy, but clearly it's not. Okay, this is Pebs, Carrots, The Pebble. So No, wait. Pebs, Carrots, Buy the Pebble, and um, it's a bit bit of a buggy, ooh, wow, that's a way buggy than I remember, but I think it's still, um, it still kind of works. Now, I put this one in, uh, it's more buggy than I thought it was, but I knew it was slightly buggy. Uh, we get replays like this every now and again, and I honestly don't know why it happens. Um, some of them are watchable like this one. We can still tell it was a really, really nice replay before, before it bugged out. You can see a really good uh, punch by Fikita. But I'd really like this as more of an inquiry to you, oh ye viewer. I'd love to know why this happens and is there anything I can do to fix it? Because we get a lot of replays submitted that I can tell probably were really, really good replays, but they end up like this and there's nothing I can do with them. And they end up completely bugged out and, and some of them totally unwatchable. This one is obviously an exception to that, which it, it is mostly watchable, but it's here mostly to make a point. I'd love to see uh, if the Pebble could resubmit that. Maybe we could get a... Uh, unbugged version we can look at what it was meant to be like but yes I'd love to know what causes that and ways I can stop it in the comments that'd be brilliant thank you okay so this is powerful by forget v2 by Tyson 980 and I I'm not even gonna say that this might be the last replay because as everyone knows I am terrible at keeping track of that crap uh, and it is a indeed a powerful by forget followed by like a flip jump kick decap thing that's just awesome so we'll take a a uh, closer inspection of this one. Uh, you get the bifurcate, he leaps into the air, knees Jeff into a million pieces, and throws Jeff's arm there, and his, and, oh, also kicks his crotch off, which is just insult to injury. You don't kick a guy's crotch off, come on. It's ridiculous. Cool though, ah, fuck. Nice though, Not very nice, nice and um, slick and sleek and all those words that I love to throw out there. I need to get a, th a thesaurus and figure out some uh, synonyms for the words I like to use. Um, there, and there's the crotch kick that just gives, put, leaves uh, Jeff's crotchal area in Tyson's hand there. I'm just going to flick forward to check that this wasn't... Nope, oh, okay, it wasn't the last replay for today. We'll take one more look at it because I uh, just wanted to make sure that it wasn't the last replay. Nice little spoiler for what the next replay is going to be there, but uh, hopefully it won't be too long. Really do like the crotchal grab at the end. All right, let's move on to what I think... Double check. Uh, 
Nope, not our last replay for today either. <laughs> I think I count eight in my head and always think that's the last one. So, yeah. Okay, the pass by X Hypers with one of the best openers to a replay I think I've seen in a long time. I just love that. Come at me, bro. And then a great decap flip kick. I, I really am fond of that opener. I mean, obviously, the decap itself is very cool. I'd never try to take that away from the replay. But it's just that. That's great. That's absolutely great. And we've got to see this from Jeff Cam. Just... <laughs> oh, it looks like he's doing something else. Oh, uh, because it's slightly out of shot. Oh, that's disgusting. Wait, 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 wait. I got to do this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm so immature. Oh, that's worse. That's even worse. That's even worse. What, am I what are you doing? Stop it. Oh, yeah. Real classy content here at Manifire Films, guys. I I we are known for our maturity and not laughing at childish things. So I hope you guys... That's ridiculous. Cool replay, though. Let's take a look at it in slow motion. Um, maybe we shouldn't give them what the hand is doing. It's a great jump uh, decap. Sort of just kind of spikes down on Jeff's neck there to snap it off. Cool. Uh, I'm going to use the C word there intentionally. It is a very cool replay. And uh, it, I mean, on its own, it would be fine and it would have a place in this show. But that open is just great. Really great. There you are, guys. You now know what my new thing is. If you want to get up, if you want to impress me, do something cool at the start. I'm sure that's going to become a thing. And this is Cheesy Mastery of My Mind by Cheeseburger. Thanks to Duckbuck for the opener. So credit to credit, Duckbuck's opener being customized by Cheeseburger. Formerly known as Pirorox, Pirorox, which is great because now I don't have to worry about mispronouncing that guy's name. I don't think I'm going to pronounce Cheeseburger ever, so that's fine. Uh, but formerly, yes, change his name. And let's take a look at one of his newer replays. So it's another punch by forget. It's a very heavy punch by forget week this week. Uh, that's that's got to be a madman. There's like body parts everywhere. There's way more than five dismembers, I do believe. We will count, however. One, two, three. If they if they have to be done separately, maybe that's nah, five anyway. Okay, that's cool. Unless I'm miscounting, which I'm sure I'm. I am because I'm terrible. Uh, this is a great replay. Really good opener. The punch to the crotch is just fantastic. I also do like the way he kind of shreds Jeff's body on the ground at the end there. We'll take a look at this one in slightly slow motion, but I feel like there's... I didn't mean to press either. Um, I feel like there's enough going... Uh, too much going on to actually examine it all. But you got the punch by the kid, uh, kicks Jeff with his other leg, slams the body pad into the ground... onto his foot, rather. I thought it was onto the ground, but apparently it's not. Splits Jeff into a million pieces. Nice little flip for himself, and... Hero pose. Very awesome. Just going to double check that... Yep, yeah, okay, this is actually the last replay of the day. Got that right. Really happy about that. So we'll let this one play through while I wrap up the show. This has been a really good week for Bifurcates. It's been like... I think every replay had some form of Bifurcate in it. Most of them were punches. I guess there were two or three decaps. Awesome. Let's take a look at this one in slow, slow, slow motion. We'll look at it from Jeff Cam, because why not? It's our last replay. We might as well punch. That looks great from that angle. Jesus, that looks awesome. Right, hang on. I, I want to see this from that angle again. That looks really, really fluid. That's just... Boom! That looks great from that angle. Wow. What an angle to go out on. Okay. So, yes, that's going to wrap up the show for today. Now, as some of you may know, we have a website, www.manofirefilms.com, where there are forums and you can interact with all of the team and post and stuff. We're trying to get activity up. It's a little bit quiet at the moment, but I'm sure that'll pick up as the channel gets more popular. But as of yesterday, at time of recording, probably eight weeks from now, at time of release, depending on when I put this one out, um... We have a chat room, or an IRC, same sort, of, same sort of deal, live on the website. You can live chat with fellow site members, myself, I, I'm pretty much always in the chat room. Uh, also, uh, wait, not also, that's the wrong word. It's totally free to use. You don't have to set up a separate account to do it. You can uh, sign in as anonymous or just set a guest name. Although I'd recommend you set up an account just to be safe, because then your username can't be like used by somebody else to get you in trouble or whatever. And messages are persistent, so even if no one's online, feel free to drop like a message in the chat room, and then when somebody comes online, they'll see the message. It's like a lot... When no one's online, it's like a live forum. When, every, when people are online, it's a live chat room. It works both ways. Go check it out. There's a link to it, not only on our channel. If you go to the channel, there's, it's in the top right. It's like the big link right now. You can also get to it on our website. It's under forums. Uh, mouse over forums, you should be able to see it. Come join up. We'd love to get some uh, activity going in the chat room. Slash IRC, whatever you want to call it. Same sort of deal. Very fun. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed this show. Please comment, like, subscribe, favorite. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, my Twitter, my Facebook, and last but not least, as I'm sure most of you know by now, sign-ups for the second Man on Fire Film Story Bash tournament have begun. They've been going for about a week, at, well, I guess, yeah, about nine days, because we started the 1st of September, so yes, nine days. They will run from the 1st of September to the 1st of August, so you have a little while to sign up, but I'd recommend doing it ASAP. It's on the for, uh, Tory Bash forums under events, probably be a link in the description as well. Go sign up, it's totally free to sign up, and uh, you could be a part of the second... Man on Fire Film Sorry Bash Tournament. So please go sign up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'm Jack, guys. See you next week. Bye.